Hey guys, this is Michael Gass with PDS Equipment. Today we are going to be talking about layered files on a UCJV printer. Because the UCJV is a roll-to-roll -roll UV printer, we can do things that a solvent or latex printer cannot do. Because the ink cures as it prints, we can stack our layers of ink and create things that regular roll printers just cannot do. So let's talk about what we can do in the UCJV. So first off, we have a Bailey sticker, and it's the name Bailey, which just happens to be my niece, and maybe these stickers were for her birthday. Who knows? So we're going to take this Bailey, and let's say we just want to print this, but we want to put white behind it. Well, that's real simple. You do that just like you would anything else. You click on the special plate button, change it to white, change it to valid pixel, click create, and select both layers. Come down here to our composition tab. You've got your white, you've got your color. You click composite, click yes, and they link together. And when we print this, it's going to print white behind it color on top. That is very basic. I'm guessing most of you already knew that one, but let's break this down and talk about it just a little bit. So we're going to click on the white layer. We're going to click on our color layer. Now, if you notice when we come over here, and again, we're on the composition tab. If I click my white, I've got this pullback after print option. It is not checked. And if you print, select your top color, which is the, the, uh, artwork in this case pullback after print is always going to be grayed out because you can't pull back after your last layer so let's talk about what this pullback after print is what this means when it's selected is if I were to print this layer then print this layer it's going to print my first layer it's going to roll back and it's going to print my second layer that's if pullback printing is selected which it is not selected now so now we're going to tab over to our layer tab and what we're going to see is that we only have one layer, our white, and then our color, and our special color overprint is saying special color, then color, which is what we want. We're going to go back up to layering, and we're going to do a little experiment. I'm going to click on this white layer. I'm going to check pullback after print, and once that happens, you have to recheck composite, and I'm going to show you what happens. So now... I've got my white, pull back after print is selected, and I've got my color. When we come over here to our layering tab, we now see that we have two layers instead of one. So when we click on our first layer, it's our white. When we click on our second layer, it's color. So what's going to happen is this is going to print the white, then it's going to reverse and roll back, and it's going to print the color on top of the white in two independent passes. Now, now that we understand that, let's move on into some other things. But before we do that, we got to fix this file because actually we want to print the white and color at the same time. So I'm going to uncheck pullback print. I'm going to click composite. And now my file is back the way that it should be, white and then color all in one layer. And again, we can confirm that by going to our layer tab and seeing that it is one layer, white, and then color, and our special color overprint is special color and then color. So that's what we want. All right, so now let's say that we want to make this gloss instead of white. So the first thing I'm going to do is release my files. All right. Then I'm going to take this white, right-click on it. I'm going to delete it because we don't need it anymore. Then I'm going to take my color file. I'm going to create a new special plate. We're going to call it clear. It's going to be valid pixel. We're going to click create. Now I've got my clear and I've got my color. I'm going to select the both. I'm going to click my composition tab going to drag this to the top because we always want our clear on top and I'm going to composite them click yes and now they're going to bracket together but as we can see my clear says matte we want our clear to be gloss how do we do that we click on the properties tab 
we click on the clear layer and special color setup we go to UV mode we change the glossy print we click OK now something very important about printing clear on a UCJV is to print clear we have to go to our quality tab come on quality tab there it is and our resolution must be 600 by 1200 and our passes must be 32 now what I want you to notice here is that at 600 by 600 our pass is 16 at 600 by 1200 our pass is 32 to print gloss you must be 600 by 1200 resolution your pass must be 32 to print gloss we have to slow our print down a little bit and let that gloss flow out to a nice smooth glassy finish so that we achieve the gloss level we're looking for the only way to do that on a UCJV is 600 by 1200 DPI 32 pass so once we get that then our job is all set to print it's going to print it's going to print our color then it's going to print our clear all in all at one time and it's going to be glossy and again if I click my layer tab we can see that we only have one layer and it's going to print color and then special color and they're going to print uh, at the same time but the head's going to split we're going to print color then we're going to chase it with special color if simultaneous were checked it would jet down the color and special color at the same time and you would not achieve the gloss level you were looking for same thing with white white's going to be color then special color or special color then color if you were to check simultaneous while printing white and color it put them down and cure them at the same time and it would look milky and that's not what you want so you're always going to make sure that's on color special color all right so now we have covered the, the basic of color and white the basic of color and gloss now let's say that we wanted to print white uh, color and gloss I tell you what before we do that let's say we wanted to print this and uh, we didn't uh, let's say we're going on window clean and we don't want to see the white on the back so what we want to do is we want to print color white color how do we do that well the first thing we're going to do since this is the file we're working with we're going to hit release and we're going to click on our color we're going to right click we're going to duplicate so now I've got two identical color files I'm going to click on this one I'm going to click on my layering I'm going to click on special color I'm going to click white valid pixel I'm going to click create so now I've got a white, a color, and a color. I'm going to select my color. And I'm going to select my color. I'm going to select my white. I'm going to come over here to composition. I'm going to drag my white up to the middle. So now I've got color, white, color. I'm going to click on each one. And notice the pullback after print is not checked on any of them, which is what you want. I'm going to click composite. Click yes. And they're all going to bracket together. And they're going to bracket together as color white color so we're going to confirm that in a couple ways one pull back after print is not checked so it's not going to print pull back print again and if we look at our layer tab come on layer tab it's coming there we go it's all one layer color white color and we look at our special color overprint it says color special color color so everything appears as we want it and this is going to print and be predictable it's going to be what you want but let's say we had this <clears throat> and we wanted to print color we want to print white on bottom color on top and we want to put the clear on top of that so first thing we're going to do is we're going to release this now we've got a color we've got a white we've got a clear so we're going to select all three of these I'm going to composite them with white on the bottom color in the middle clear on top we're going to click composite but before we do that we're going to look at our pullback print it's not selected after white it's not selected after color 
and it never is going to be selected on your top layer. But on color, I'm going to click pull back print. And we're going to click composite. It's going to bracket them together. Let's see what we come up with. So now, when I click on my layer, it's going to show me two layers instead of one. So my first layer is going to put white and color. Then it's going to pull back. And my second layer is going to be clear. So it's actually going to print it in two passes. And the reason for that is, is the UCJV cannot print white and gloss at the same time. So the way it does it is it prints the white and color. And then it pulls back and prints the clear on top. So when you're printing white, color, and clear, that's the way you have to do it. All right, so we're going to take this file and we're going to release it. Now, let's say for some reason we wanted white, we wanted color, white, color, then clear. How would we do that? I bet you know already. I bet you can guess. So we're going to take our clear, drag it to the top, take our white, drag it to the middle. So we're going to print color. And again, this is, would be if we're going on a clear media and we wanted to see the color on both sides. So we're going to have color, white, color, gloss. We're going to click composite. We're going to click yes. And let's see what it gave us. So after this, no pullback. After this, no pullback. After this, no pullback. After this, clear. So that's not going to work because anytime we have white and clear, the only way to do it is with a pullback. So right here, I'm going to click pullback and I'm going to click composite. And now it's to confirm that I've got my, my color, no pullback, white, no pullback, color is going to be pullback, and then clear. And again, to confirm it again, I'm going to come over to my layer tab, and it's going to say layer one is color, white, color, color, white, color. Layer two means it's going to print my color, white, color, roll back, print again, and print my clear. So that's how we do white and clear at the same time. So now we've talked about color white, we've talked about color gloss, we've talked about white color gloss, we've talked about color white color gloss. Now we're going to talk about five layer printing. What is a five layer print? So let's take uh, this file right here and make a five layer print out of it. So there's two types of five layer prints and they're created the same way. Uh, the only difference is how you handle your shading plates. So uh, we're going to create this uh, backlit file, and then we will go. We'll talk about how to create a uh, file to completely shield out the front and back. So again, two types of five-layer files. They're both the same. One would be a backlit file, so that when you there's no light behind it, you see one image, and you shine light behind it, and you see a different image. The second type of five-layer printing is where your middle layers are a complete barrier. So that when you look at it on one side, you see image. And when you look at it on the other side, you see a different image. But because of the barrier, you don't see any bleed through between the two, even if it's in full sunlight. So let's talk about how to do that. So the first thing is we have a, a girl in a red car file. We have a girl in a white car file. We have our shading plate. And all our shading plate is is a CMYK black plate, the exact same size as these two. Then we take this file and we make two white plates out of it. So you guys know how to make a whole image white plate, and that's what we do. So we click on this. We click on, excuse me, one, two, many. We click on that. We click on this. So we've selected our five layers. Come over here to composition. We're going to drag them in the right order. The right order is the first thing to print. Excuse me, the first thing to print is always going to be our dark color. The last thing to print is always going to be our light color. And the shading plate is always going to be in the middle. So your order is always going to be file, white plate, shading plate, white plate, and file. And if you're printing a backlit, your light color needs to print last. So now we click composite. And we click yes. Now... If, uh, 
I'm going to click on each file and notice the pullback after print is not checked. So when I come over here to my layer tab, we're going to see that it's all going to print in one layer. Come on layer tab, there we go, and you can see it's one layer. And we can see from our special color overprint that we're going to color, special color, shading, special color, color. So we can see that's all going to work out just fine. So now one more thing we want to go over with our five layer printing is the percentage of white in our two shading plates and the percentage of black in our shading plate. If you want to completely shield out so that you can print two independent images with no bleed through, even when they're in light. My white plate, you would want to make 100%. And my black plate, you'd want to make 100%. If you are on a backlit file, typically your white needs to be about 30% and your black needs to be about 30%. So how do we do that? So we're going to click on the white plate, click on our properties tab, Click on Special Color Setup, and we get this uh, Special Color Properties window that pops up. So we can set our white level. So we can set our uh, ink is white, and our level is 30 and 30. That's for a shading plate on a backlit. If it was a um, shading plate that we wanted to completely lock the Lock the light out, we'd change it to 100%, and we would do the same for both layers. Now, our black layer, you change that a little differently. So, we click on the back layer and we click on our color wheel, and we click on the black file, and we're going to change it to 30% black. So, the file originally came in as a CMYK. 69C, 67 magenta, 64 yellow, 74 black, which is what we would call a rich black. But we don't want that. We simply want black at 30%. So we type in 30% black and click apply. And again, if this was a shading plate to completely block out, I'd either put 100% black or I might put, you know, 70 cyan, 70 magenta, 70 yellow, 70, 80 or 90 black, even 100 black. Uh, as you know, the more you put down, the more ink you have, and the more you're going to shield out the light. So that is how we do five-layer printing, gloss, and white. I'm going to show you one more thing. So this one, actually, we're going to go up to this one. So this is a file that has cut in it, and it has our color and our clear. We're going to click on our layer. Click on this job. There we go. All right. One thing I want you to notice is your pullback after print between the white and clear is not checked. But on the clear, pullback print is grayed out and checked. Why is that? Anytime you're printing with a cut file, your last layer is automatically going to pull back and read the registration marks and cut. So you're always going to have an automatic check on the pullback print after the last layer if there's cut information. So don't let that throw you off. So uh, that is how layer printing with white and or gloss and five layer printing for a backlit or a window clean with two different images on both sides works. If you have any questions about that, let me know. And thank you so much for listening and watching the video. And don't forget to like us on YouTube. Thank you very much.